story called One Plastic Bag. And it is a biography. A biography is the story of a real person's life written by someone other than that person. Authors of biographies present events in sequential or chronological order. Biographies may tell how real people felt about events described in the text. Biographies include third-person pronouns such as he, she, him, her, hers, they, them, and their. So this is a biography written about someone, and it is written by someone other than the person it is about. And so it is called One Plastic Bag. And I'd like you to see who wrote it. So let me get to that. So the author and illustrator, here they are. Our author's name is Miranda Paul. And Miranda Paul, the author of One Plastic Bag, also writes for newspapers, magazines, and game companies, and works with students of all ages. She likes to wear her pajamas when she's writing in her basement studio. It gives her the quiet spot she needs for writing because, as she says, my brain is a very noisy place. And then we have our artist and illustrator, Elizabeth Zuna was born in Albany, New York, and she also lives there today. She spent a lot of her childhood in the sunny Ivory Coast, a country in West Africa where her grandfather had a cocoa plantation. So that's where chocolate comes from. So boys and girls, we need to prepare to read one plastic bag. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about the title of the biography. This story is about Azatu Cisse. What would you like to learn from her story? And so boys and girls, this is a story about someone. I want you to look at the first few pages of it. So it is about someone who lives in a village and you can kind of see the pictures of it. What do you think you're gonna learn about Azatu, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, and, her pla and plastic bag? So I want you to look at the first few pages of it. What do you wanna learn about her life?
One plastic bag. Issa Tirsise and the Recycling Women of the Gambia. Miranda Paul. Illustrations by Elizabeth Zunan. Gambia. Isatu walks with her chin frozen. Fat raindrops pelt her bare arms. Her face hides in the shadow of a palm leaf basket, and her neck stings with every step. Warm scents of burning wood and bubbling peanut stew drift past. Her village is close now. She lifts her nose to catch the smell. The basket tips. One fruit crumbles, then two, then ten. The basket breaks. Isatu kicks the dirt. So I can make an inference from looking at this picture. Although it doesn't tell me this, but I can see on her face that she does not look happy. Who else can tell this? Yes, we can tell this. Something silky dances past her eyes, softening her anger. It moves like a flag, flapping in the wind, and settles under a tamarind tree. Isatu slides the strange fabric through her fingers and discovers it can carry things inside. She gathers her fruits in the bag. The basket is useless now. She drops it, knowing it will crumble and mix back in with the dirt. Okay, now boys and girls, authors often describe moments when the person in the biography makes an important discovery. These are called aha moments. When, so this is an important time in someone's life. So Institute has made an important discovery. So we should be kind of looking at this. So on page 124 and 25, Isatu has had an aha moment. What aha moment has Isatu had on these two pages? Anastasia? I just slide my fingers through um, the plastic that the bag that she was holding she could carry the fruit into that bag. Very nice. And so how could this change things for her? Yes? Um, it changes things because she doesn't have to carry all of the fruit in the broken basket anymore because she found the bag in the basket. Yeah, she doesn't have to carry it like that anymore. Good job. goats greet Isatu as Grandmother Mbamba emerges from her kitchen hut. Hurry in before this rain soaks your beautiful Mbuba. What do you think a Mbuba is? What's a Mbuba? Olive? Or maybe the fruit? You think the fruit is the Mbuba? Mm -hmm. Who do you think the Mbuba is? Ethan? The dress? The dress. The dress is the Mumba. Yes, good. You made a nice inference up there. Or you use the, or use the context clues. How can you use the illustrations and the context clues to figure out what the word means? How did you do that? Logan, how did we how did you use the the illustrations and the context clues to figure out what a Mumba is? Because it says that um, before it soaks it. Before it soaks it. What else? Teddy? It says beautiful. It says beautiful. Very nice. 
Why does the author use the word Moomba? Why do you think the author used the word Moomba? Juliana. Easy Two scurries in, and Grandmother serves spicy rice and fish. Rain drums on the creaking aluminum roof. I broke your basket, Issa Two confesses. But I found this. Plastic, Grandmother frowns. There's more in the city. Confesses. If someone confesses something, he or she admits to doing or saying something wrong. So why do you think Issa Tu stumbles with her words when she confesses to her grandmother? Why does she stumble? Olive? Because she said that she broke her grandmother's basket. Yeah, because she broke the basket. What does grandmother do when she tells Issa Tu about class? What does